Good morning. Good morning, family and friends. It's your girl Pinky, and I am coming with our daily devotional from Kentucky. I am currently in my sister's house. Gonna go to my brother uh, later this week. Those birds were quiet up until one minute ago, 30 seconds ago. Then they start yakking. If it ain't the dogs at home, it's these birds. I don't know what's gonna happen down at my brother's house. He just got fish and a puppy rock walla. So um, let's jump on into this devotional. Today is 10, 10, 22. Isn't that wonderful? I am 18 days away from 61. Somebody say hallelujah. I'll say it. Hallelujah. Um, we're going to go ahead on and jump into this devotional. But first, if you are not part of this family over here, what you waiting on, boo? Go ahead on and hit that button and ring that bell. Ding, 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 ding. Ding, ding. Them birds is dinging. Um, go ahead and give a thumbs up. Leave a comment. What's your name? Where you from? Let me know if these devotionals are blessing you or not. Um, and then share it because you know somebody that's going to need this one today because this is another good one. So we're going to jump right on into it. It's 10, 10. 22 okay it's not what you eat and this is good because me and a pastor had this conversation the other day when i was down in biloxi and uh we were talking about catfish and i said i don't eat catfish number one it looked like a cat he's a girl that like catfish don't look like no cat <laughs> that's what i thought but he said not what goes into someone's mouth does not defile them but what comes out of their mouth this is what defiles them and y'all know sometimes we could say some things that's just ratchet and raggedy and rude and 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 for me real uh but sometimes the realness can be uh shrewd or it can be offensive to somebody so you know we're not gonna get by in this life without offending somebody with the word uh, don't offend nobody on purpose but sometimes the word of God will offend people. But for that, we cannot make an apology. But that other stuff that comes out of our mouth, it, it, that's embedded in the heart. So when we talk with craziness, when we talk with prejudice, when we talk with uh, homicide and murder, because um, you can't kill somebody with your mouth. You can kill someone's dreams. You can kill someone's hope. You can even kill their visions uh, with what comes coming out of our mouth. So that's why he said it's not what comes out of the mouth because that's what he said. It's not what you eat, but what comes out of your mouth because it's coming from your heart. So if you're saying something out of your mouth, that stuff is embedded and ingrained inside of your heart. He said we do a lot of judging based on outward appearance and actions. Y'all know we do. Well, they do. Um, in biblical times, people were very concerned with the law of what could and could not be eaten. They would judge people based on whether they stuck to the rules or not. In our day, we might have certain social codes and standards that we hold people to, like what type of clothes should be worn at church. Y'all know people do that. Girl, you can't wear that up in here. Bruh, you better put on some pants and a, a jacket. Uh, so we judge people based on what we see. God judges based on what's inside the heart. He looks inside the deep caverns, the ventricles, and the aorta of the heart to see what's deep down in the heart. That's just sometimes we got stuff hidden inside of our heart, and we don't know that there's a grudge inside of our heart against somebody until we cross paths with that person again. Um, but we got to get to the place where we ask God to do heart surgery on us, do an open heart surgery on us, and clean everything and anything that's not like him out because we don't want to have not one speck of bitterness not one speck of hatred not one speck of animosity not even a shadow of unforgiveness for someone hidden deep down inside of our heart because it can stop you because god said if you don't forgive I won't forgive you. If you don't forgive your perpetrators, your haters, your instigators, your agitators, God said, I won't forgive you. So go ahead on, search your heart, see what's in it that should not be, and ask the Lord, because we can't do it out. He has to do it for us. He has to help us get that stuff that's ingrained in our heart. And sometimes we've had stuff in our heart for decades, you know, uh, we we'll hold a grudge against somebody, and we'll remember what they did when they 16, and now they 66. You've been holding that for 50 years. Let it go and live. 
let go, let God, so you may live. Amen. So with that being said, we're going to go ahead and end this devotional. I hope something was said that blessed you. If not, let me know about it. And if so, let me know about it. Whatever it is, let me, I'm a big girl, I can handle it. Uh, so go ahead on and leave a comment. Know this, I love you with all my heart. Every ounce of my heart, I love you. Um, I thank God for each and every one of you. I pray a prophetic blessing over your life that you will receive the prophet's blessing, the prophet's reward on this day, 10, 10, 22. So if you're not a part of the family, go ahead on and hit the button. Ding, 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 ding. Ring that bell. So good, good. <laughs> So Google can notify you the next time we upload a video on this channel, whether it's a devotional, a purse bag, a prayer journal, a regular journal, traveling journal, living in my car journal, whatever it may be, Google will let you know. So go ahead on and hit that button and ring that bell, and we'll see you tomorrow. God bless.